hello everyone so in my previous video you have already gone through about template types and how to create a template and how to create pages from a template so in this video we are talking about a very interesting feature of template editors which is policy so there are two types of policy that our template talks about so one is template level policy and one is component level policy so we will start from the template level policy so this is my template yes this is my template so in the template if we go to the page design we can see that we can add now client side libraries dynamically yes it is very important step to know so let's make a client library to make it make this concept very very clear to us so just make a client library over here okay create node and client libs cq colon client library folder and under this we just make a js having alert js txt here we will have my test dot js we will create our test dot js test dot js here we will having a alert hi so i can add a categories here categories and this is apps dot my project okay so in this template in the base template i need to create a policy i will just click on plus i will create a policy like client libs something like client libs anything my project client libs pro my project client libs we can add a description if we want to and we can add a client lib over here like apps dot my project so if we go here okay yes my client lib is getting loaded and all the pages created from this particular template is getting loaded so there is one more thing that i have added a policy over here so if we go to the structure under conf we are talking about template level policy so if we go to the policies we will see that there is a hierarchy this hierarchy is exactly like exactly like the sling resource type we have defined over here so in the base template we can see that under jcr content we are having a hierarchy my project components page page so it will be having same same x structure and it will be a unique policy and here we will define client libs so this is a this policy can be defined by a template author but yes developer can also define client libraries as we can see that it is the same structure so we can also define the client uh, we can also define the policy we can create the node structure and there is very important step is here if we want to have this particular policy so my policy start from here sorry let me just see once so there is a so there is a policy property over here you can see that this base template has a policy so sometimes we would like to have a policy at my template types level i don't want to add uh, this client library on every template again and again so what i want i will add just add this particular policy over here and let me again create some another template so if i create some another template we will go just to template my project and if we create some another template like test one test 
open so yes this is already having that policy because i have defined that particular policy in my in my template types so it is up to your requirement if you want it to make on the author level you can leave it for a template author and if you want to define some some policies at the developer level you can also do that so that's about template level policies so we will <coughs> we will talk more about component level policies so in the container we can decide that what kind of components we want them to you know just drag and drop so this is a let's suppose general policy we can add a description over here we have just selected a group here we can just select some components from here we can click on okay <clears throat> so these all components will be allowed in this particular container so if i go to that particular page i need to drag and drop only these components by the page author page author cannot drag and drop the components as per their you know as they want they just need to restrict themselves to template authors so this is again an advantage so this is a component level policy so we will also look into the hierarchy of this component level policy we will go under policies so before seeing the this we just need to learn so this is my root i am talking about the policy for this particular container so what is the sling resource type of this container wcm foundation components responsive grid so under policy there should be wcm foundation components responsive grid and there should be a policy so in the policy i have defined the group and some of the components you can see these over things over there and i have added this particular policy in my base template so what you can where you can see this you can go to the policies jcr content and root and at the root level you can see that there is a policy defined so again we can do it at template level if we want that okay every every template created from the Uh, template type should have this particular policy i can also have this particular policy here as well so this is up to the requirement there is no hard and fast rule every project had as its own requirement so these all things i have one more, more important thing which can we can see over here so this is my template so in the template properties you can just have thumbnail so if there is some image to upload pictures save the pictures i can not see any of the picture so if there is some picture okay on the desktop i can see something no no images i can drop here so we can just have some image over here and we can have a thumbnail image of a particular template so i hope it will help you thank you guys thanks for watching